sense, we have a really interesting test experiment because this new course, it was taught in the fall. It was done in a traditional lecture hall in Science Center C. And now, essentially, the same course is being taught this spring in this space where the students can move around. Um, they can, it can be much more interactive. And, I'd, and I'm very interested to see how the student perceptions of the course change when the course is just taught, essentially the same course, but taught now in a very different space um, in a very different environment. I wanted to have some space at Harvard that was flexible and you could build things and you could drill into the walls and you wouldn't feel bad and that it was both about experimenting and also about talking and maybe even performing. Just going through this process of making it makes you ask a lot of questions about how we teach and about what other possibilities are. It sort of um, expands your brain a little bit, which sometimes hurts, but it's really, uh, it's very rewarding. And so uh, I think we're, we're actually um, expanding the possibilities at Harvard for this kind of education. We decided, we were, how do we actually show things? We have projectors, we have screens. But we, just, we were projecting all over the place. Turn the projector, put it on every wall to see what was good, what was interesting, what was fun. And then we put the projector on this whiteboard and it was perfect because you can move the whiteboard around and it's like you're moving information around the room. It's kind of cool. What we're doing is we're replacing this exact thing with a very flat screen, huge TV. So it's going to be wheeled around the room for necessary. And since it's a smart TV, we can also Skype to scientists anywhere in the world if we happen to be interested in something they're doing. So right now we have, uh, we've got two courses that are being taught in here this semester. We have uh, uh, the lab component of one of our physics courses, and this is a, a mechanics course. They have lab uh, stations over here where they'll do experiments and collect data, and then they'll get together on this other side of the room where they'll get together in small groups. It can be really flexible. They can move back and forth between these different modes of instruction. And then the other course is a new, uh, a new course that's being taught entirely in here. All of the lecture section and lab components all taught together. And again, the idea was that they can, they can move between having a sort of a lecture discussion part and then, you know, okay, let's go do an experiment, come back and, and everything will be seamlessly integrated. So, so the rule now is everything from here over is on wheels and can always be moved and will be moved. It is actually working as different space than anything we have, um, at least in the physics department or in uh, the Science Center. We just were talking with a theater director who might be interested in putting on a performance here and I was talking with her later about getting in touch with her lighting designer and you know we could buy a half dozen theater lights that we'll keep in this space and we can hang them from the ceiling and use that as a way to to create a different a different feel for this space. I really do believe that space changes and architecture changes how we think probably will inspire them to be scientists more. That's what I think. It might not change how they answer physics questions, but it might change how they think about physics and how they feel about physics. And if we accomplish that, that would be a huge success. And also how they dance about physics. And how they so dance gonna, about gonna, physics, yes. We're gonna do a little dancing Absolutely. physics thing. When we have the stage set up yeah. here, when we ask students to give presentations, they can get up on the stage and then they feel like that's a performance. That's right. Um, and that's, you know, it makes a difference. It, it feels different and that's, uh, that's the feeling we want to inspire.